Oh my god, it's happened. Finally, they've hatched. That's so small and so cute. Oh, where's he gone? And he's gone. But anyway, here we go. They're hatching and I'm super excited. All right, things are getting desperate. We've got 25 adult crickets and they turn to like hundreds. It's 40 bucks to 25 crickets. I can't, that's not sustainable. That's not sustainable. Stay tuned. So I need this, I need that, I need that, that, paper towels, food dish, and substrate. So this is a setup I use to breed 25 adult crickets to make baby crickets. Now you have to remember, I've never bred crickets in my life. So this is the first time and I wanted to do it with 25 crickets only. Now where I live, crickets aren't cheap. It was 40 bucks for 25 adults, and that's not sustainable buying that every single week for my animals. So I got them in the tub, and I just crossed my fingers. See that? That's a cricket, one of my breeders. And this, for those who don't know, that is your female. There we go, huge difference. Putting a bit of pressure, there's a flood coming up, but that's the egg-laying rod, basically. So male doesn't have that, female has that. So for those that don't know, that is a cricket egg. It looks like a little rice granule. That's it. Tiny, but easy to spot, so you'll know once you have them. They're usually at the sides of the egg-laying dish. And I'll put this one on top very gently. Oh, that's not gentle at all. Okay, he's stuck. There we go. But that's how you'll see them. See? See, there's one there, and there's like a pile of them there. So yeah, easy to spot. So 25 crickets, turning that into a cricket army is what I need. So good news already is they're chirping, which is a great sign, apparently. And I've just got it sitting on this nice little seedling uh, heat pad, which is perfect. The right ambient temperature will keep them nice and warm overnight and keep them at a good temperature. That's warming up slowly. Nice. Now, it wasn't hard. You don't need a lot of supplies. You just need to be vigorous and be patient. But there are parameters that crickets need to survive and thrive. So as you can see, there's about an inch of space. Actually, we'll give that a quick mist. Quick mist. Put it on. Onto the heat pad. Let's see what happens. Actually, I need you to work. I need you to hatch. Shredded carrot and lettuce today for the crickets. Recording egg laying days is important so you keep track as well as fresh food. Fresh food every single day. Now check out this little female in a saw box. This is day three. So day three bin comes out. You out, female in there. Put it back in. So that's it. That one's ready to go for incubation. I'm putting these two smaller ones this time around. Still got some food, which is good. Lots of water. Gives it a quick, look, quick little mist. These ones should be easier to get into. So this one's four days now. Fuck, crickets are messy. Look at this. That is two days. Two days. Unbelievable. So I'm transferring to this. Nice clean slate. These three, full of eggs. Fingers crossed. That's good heat. Good heat, good moisture levels. We'll see how it goes. So it took three weeks for them to hatch. Normally it's seven to 10 to 14 days, but it was a little bit colder in the environment and in the room that they were in, so it took a little bit longer, but it was panic stations, all hands on deck, had to get the new setup all ready to go. Finally, the crickets have hatched. That's it, folks. All those doubters, all those haters. I don't know if there were any, but I've got baby crickets. The pinheads, they've hatched. Only three weeks later, so this is going to be their hatching bin to where the hatchings are going to go. The pinheads are going to grow up in here for a little bit. I've got paper towels, I've got cucumber, I've got carrot, I've got a water dish. So they're going to have everything they need. I'm super excited. First time I've ever actually successfully bred crickets. And with only 25 adults, not 500, not 100, not 1,000, only 25. So let's get them in there. And it's quite timely as well because it's going to make more space for the rest. Let's be very careful. They're in here. Now they're really, really quite cute at this size. I don't have to worry too much about anything else, but they will come out and they're on a cord. But since they've started hatching, I need to start getting them out of here so they can start feeding and growing up. Basically, oh my God, they're so cute. Yeah, I'll try to get one out for you guys. Like, look how tiny they are. They're so cute. Here he is, little guy. Here he is. They've just, come, they've just started to come out. Let's see if we can gently coax more out to come out. This is the first few. There we go. Little tiny little guy. See that crawling around? Just started his life as a little cricket. Little pinhead they call him. There he is. There he is. Look at that. Man, I'm, I've never been this stoked about an insect in my life. So this will essentially be my setup. I'll give them some cardboard. Venture out. And have places to hide. Very important. But essentially something like this. Start their journey from the cardboard into the area where there's food, there's moisture, places to hide. There we go. That's it. The hatchling. We're ready. Excellent. So I'm down to like three males and three females. So I started at 25 crickets. I've had hatchlings, so there's going to be several hundreds that are going to hatch. So from 25, I might have 100, might have 200, might have 50. Three females, three males. Hopefully they can give me another egg laying portion. And any of, any that die from old age or just die because they get eaten, this doesn't get a waste. The cave wetters will eat these. So life cycle, circle of life. All I do, guys, let's recap. I get a bin, multiple. So one, two, three, four. Always in rotation because you clean them out as well, right? Clean, next level, next level, especially with the adults, right? It's just easier to put them in a fresh bin rather than putting somewhere temporarily and then transferring them back. We could do vice versa, but I just transfer them into a new bin. All you need is water, carrot. I do cucumber. I do dog biscuits, cat biscuits. I'll do mescaline leaves. I'll do uh, protein, meat, whatever I can. Not too much 
much meat because it stinks, but vegetables, cucumber, orange, mandarin, kiwi fruit, soil. I mean, this is cocoa fiber mix. They're all going to hatch out of this now over the next coming days. Egg laying carton, or sorry, egg cartons is just for, essentially for them to hide, to climb, and it's easy to actually remove them around. That is the baby setup, and it is on a seedling mat. Now, remember, this is a guide. This isn't a, I'm not a guru. This is how I've done it, and I've successfully hatched them. Look at that. I only use 25 crickets. I've got the adults down here. I'll put them on a heat mat later, but same thing for the adults. A big laying dish. There we go. There's a female right there. Once again, cucumber, carrot, biscuits. Done. As the days get on, more and more will hatch. And this is what they look like. Kiyuri pies.